How many programming languages does it take to get a job in programming? Just one. Focusing on a single programming language is the most effective way to build some base knowledge before learning any other languages you might need. Choosing your first programming language can be one of the most important decisions made when starting your programming journey. It's crucial because this will be the one you'll be learning with. This could be anywhere between building projects, reading or contributing to existing source code, learning programming principles or concepts, solving programming challenges, debugging, or searching for solutions when you're stuck using Google. You're able to achieve all of this with most programming languages, but some are in better positions than others to make learning how to code substantially easier. Not only this, but to position yourself so that when you can get your first programming job as soon as possible. The most important factor, in my opinion, is to decide based on job opportunities in your area. I assume that as a junior, you want to learn to code in order to pursue a career in programming. If so, choosing a programming language where there are many opportunities available to you is a priority, especially when you have no professional experience. The priority should not be simply learning what language looks the most pretty, the easiest to learn, or even necessarily choosing based on how many people like it. It would be more effective to prioritize getting a job because once you do, your ability to learn dramatically increases. You have gained some benefits such as a live application to contribute to, a team of developers, including seniors to work with and learn from, the opportunity to grow your network and gain professional experience. More importantly, you're being paid a salary while learning. The starting amount may not be that great, but the true value of getting the job is the experience, networking, and knowledge you will have gained. Once you get your foot through the door, then your programming knowledge and career trajectory will go up. In fact, your salary and earning potential will also go up, but the first hurdle is to get that job. Python is considered a very beginner-friendly language and would be the one I would typically recommend. In fact, most of the articles or videos online about what the most popular programming language is will likely have Python in their list. The issue is if you plan to build your career as a Python developer, what good is it to learn Python if there are no job opportunities available to you because of where you live? If there are, then Python is a great programming language to begin with. Let me give you an example. So I'm on indeed.co.uk and if I search for Python jobs, in London, I can see that there are 2,150 jobs. If I were to use the same search query for uh, where I live, which is a town called Milton Keynes, I can actually uh, see that there are fewer than 50 uh, opportunities in Milton Keynes. Also bear in mind that there are even fewer junior positions. So if I append junior to the search query, there are only four possible positions available to me as a junior. Uh, likewise, if I search for that in London, then there are around 200 instead of 2000. So to increase your chance to get a job in programming, you want to choose one which brings the most opportunities to you personally. But before you begin, Follow the next step. Create a shortlist. It's not too difficult to find some websites or even videos on which are the most popular languages in 2021. The shortlist you create could be different from others depending on what path you want to take. For example, if you wanted to be a front-end or UI developer, then really the language you want to go with is JavaScript. HTML and CSS are not programming languages, but you will need to learn those as well. Often people would recommend you learn those two first. I think you should learn JavaScript before those two. If you wanted to be a backend or server side developer, then the options start to grow a little. So I'll give you an example of what kind of research you can do to create your shortlist. The first thing you can do is Google it.
Best Programming Language for Beginners 2021. So if we enter, there are many articles given their recommendations. And a lot of these lists are similar, so you can be confident that if you choose one of these, you can't go wrong. You can also search on YouTube. So if I search for best beginner programming language, uh, there are plenty of options here as well. Another option is to look at the Stack Overflow survey. So I'm here on the most popular technology section. Um, if I scroll down, you can see that there are 47,184 responses. This is for professional developers, and then you can see the most popular programming languages. So JavaScript, uh, Python is in here, Java, C Sharp, PHP, C++, Go, Ruby. You can also click on most loved, dreaded, and wanted. So this is the survey for developers where they shared their most loved programming language, the one they dreaded the most, and the one that they wanted. So if I scroll down, we have here Rust, TypeScript, Python is on this uh, top, uh, really high in the list. You have uh, Kotlin and Go. C Sharp is up here. Click on dreaded. There are some uh, programming languages. PHP is quite high up in here, Ruby. C++, Java. So you can use these to filter out which ones may not be ideal for you, especially as a beginner, because even though some of the articles on Google or YouTube may recommend PHP or Ruby, Java is usually up there, they may not necessarily work based on this survey, telling you developers' actual experience and what they prefer to use and what they prefer not to use. And finally, we have the TIOBE index. So the TIOBE index is a good indicator on what's popular. It's updated monthly and ratings are based on the number of skilled engineers worldwide, courses and third-party vendors as well. Popular search engines such as Google, Bing, Yahoo, Wikipedia, Amazon, and YouTube are used to calculate the ratings. It's not an indicator of what is the best language, but how frequent a language is mentioned on the internet. I wouldn't rely solely on this to choose your programming language. You can use this data to see trends. And this is how I started to realize that Ruby, which was my first programming language, was starting to decline in popularity. So if I scroll down here, you can see kind of what goes up, down every month. Um, so usually um, Java and C, Python has uh, risen in popularity um, very, very recently. C++ has always been quite high up and C sharp. PHP and JavaScript have also been pretty um, good. But as you can see, languages like Ruby, for example, or Swift, they're just losing popularity, um, even Go and SQL. So those are good indicators of deciding which language to specialize in because you don't want to learn a language or spend many hours learning a language, get into the industry, but then a short while after, let's say a few years, that language begins losing popularity and therefore the job opportunities also decline. So these are some of the things you can do to help choose your first programming language. Once you learn the very basics of programming, such as data types, variables, loops, methods, classes, etc., then it's not a bad idea to look at the other programming languages in your shortlist. If you want in my opinion, however, I would recommend three languages to start with as a beginner. C Sharp, JavaScript, or Python. Any of these three languages would be great first programming languages for beginners. But if you wanted me to choose just one, I may be biased, but I'm a C Sharp developer. And in my years as a programmer, I have used a few programming languages professionally, such as Ruby, PHP, JavaScript, and also experienced some others such as Golang. I would choose C Sharp. Having experienced those other languages firsthand, I can confidently say that C Sharp is the one I wished I started with first. And for me, I would recommend this programming language more so than any of the others. And maybe I'll create a video about why I think this one is the best to learn with and also to specialize with professionally. That said, you can't go wrong with JavaScript or Python either, but bear in mind that only choose so long as there are job opportunities for these languages in your area. If there are very few opportunities, then figure out which ones are. 
JavaScript, PHP, Ruby, Go, C++ are also viable options, but I would only choose these based on job opportunities because as a first programming language, there are going to be reasons why they are less suited for beginners compared to the ones I have recommended. That said, I'm just a random guy on the internet, so don't just take my word on it. So that's it for me. Thank you for watching. I'll be making more videos like this, so please subscribe. And if you found this video helpful, please leave a like, comment, and share. Thanks again, and I'll see you in the next one.